on today's episode of the RouterFlex podcast. This topic that I see uh, recently in the news and on LinkedIn uh, surrounding contacting employees after hours, right? In fact, I saw an article. I think the article was titled, should it be legal or should it be illegal to contact employees, quote, after hours? I don't know if that was the exact article, but I'm seeing this 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 noise uh, in some of the press. Thought I'd touch on it, give you my opinion on it. You know, so often when you read about potential policies or programs or laws around business, I feel like it's always geared towards big business or bigger companies, right? Like, like Google or Amazon or Microsoft or IBM, right? Like companies that can handle uh, or deal with or afford uh, some of the, the laws or things people are trying to pass. And then I see, I see employees jump on it and like, oh yeah, it's a great idea. You know, like employees that don't know anything about running a small business, they'll comment on it and say, yeah, 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 that too. Yeah, we should do that, you know? So, for example, I saw one the other day about uh, uh, bereavement time, I think, for, for pets or something like that, you know? And it should be a week or two, and employers, sh- employers should pay for that as well. And every time I see something, uh, an article, I always think to myself, like, who, who's writing this stuff? Like, small business owners aren't coming up with this. <laughs> I could tell you right now, a small business owner that's trying to survive uh, and is worried about cash flow and hopefully making payroll next week uh, that has like six employees, that business owner is not coming up with the idea of, uh, for bereavement pay for pets. <laughs> By the way, I have dogs. I have a wonderful dog. I love my pet too. You know, I'm, I love pets. That's, that's not the point. Uh, but then this other thing I saw back to the original uh, reason for the episode, this, this calling, uh, people after hours, I'm, I'm looking at that article. I'm like, well, first of all, depending on your business, there are no hours necessarily, right? I mean, if you're a small business, if you're in a, if you're a service provider, there's always stuff happening outside of hours. I mean, the plumber gets a phone call after hours. The tow truck driver gets a call after hours. The, the guy that snows the, or plows the snow off the road gets calls after hours. If you're a recruiter, the candidate calls after hours. The client calls after hours. There are no hours, right? I mean, somebody writing that article, uh, this, this saying employees shouldn't be contacted after hours, they're living in some sort of bubble some sort of like a uh, square, perfectly square black and white world where it's like nine to five and nothing ever happens uh, outside of nine to five. There are companies like that, I guess, but most small businesses are not like that. <laughs> I mean, if you're the manager of uh, the little Mexican restaurant uh, down the street and you're off one day, but uh, two employees quit, you might get a phone call <laughs> from the owner after hours. I mean, so, so I, I just, I guess my point is, and, and by the way, we're kind of moving into this world where there, there isn't really a nine to five anyway, it, it, you know, for, for a, a large part of the workforce now, it's just, you get paid to produce, you get paid to produce results and execute. And a lot of people don't care when you do it or where you do it from, or when you work, they just want results. Uh, and they don't really care what time of day you work or whatever. So to a large degree, uh, uh, you know, people are being, or, or moving into a, a society where nine to five doesn't really exist anyway. So how do you measure after hours, if that's the case? So let's, let's, be careful not to continue to roll out policies and laws that work perfectly fine for the employees at Google, but crush uh, a small business that may not be able to, to handle it or, or do it. The vast majority of companies in the United States are small business owners, not big companies. Let's don't, 
roll out rules for big companies that blow up a small business owner's world. Okay, let's be really careful about that. Um, if you're in a certain line of work, you're going to get a phone call and an email at all hours of the day, depending on depending on the situation. I mean, I run a small business as a recruiting firm. Uh, what am I going to tell my employees? They can't call me after hours if a client's pissed off about something. <laughs> I mean, what are you, what are you crazy? I mean, come on. Uh, let's, let's live in the real world. Okay. Uh, anyway, I guess this episode is me just ranting um, and saying that I, I want to be careful about looking at policies and procedures and laws for businesses that work perfectly fine in a giant, big company atmosphere, but blow up a small business world. And there is my Rider Flex rant of the day. Thank you.